Uh, California, Mr. McClintock is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The Democrats uh, want to restore the status quo to this committee, they say. Well, unfortunately, the, the status quo of this committee with respect to immigration has been to ignore the largest illegal mass migration in the history of this country that is making a mockery of our borders, our nation's sovereignty, our asylum laws, and our rule of law. The Democrats refused for two years to hold a single hearing on this crisis as 1.9 million illegal immigrants were admitted into this country and released in violation of federal law, and another 1.2 million gotaways evaded the Border Patrol as it was overwhelmed by this influx. This is an illegal population admitted to this country larger than the entire population of Arkansas in just 25 months. The impact on our schools, our public hospitals, our homeless shelters, our social safety net, working Americans' wages, and the safety of our communities is incalculable. And yet the Democrats held not a single hearing on this crisis in the two years since it began. On the contrary, the few hearings they held on immigration were to increase admissions into our country. They would now uh, uh, like us to continue this business as usual. Last week, as Mr. Klein pointed out, not a single Democrat bothered to show up at the hearing in Yuma to hear the heartfelt concerns of the Americans who are living with this crisis day in and day out. To the Democrats, the, these cries simply fall on deaf ears. The New York Times, which is hardly a conservative bastion, just ran a devastating and heartbreaking piece on the indentured servitude imposed on unaccompanied alien children as we drop them off with a so-called sponsor, more than 90% of whom are not even their parents, and then we abandon them. And the HHS secretary's only concern is that we aren't doing it faster? The Democrats obsess over slavery that the Republicans abolished more than 150 years ago, but they couldn't care less about the modern slavery that they have reintroduced into our country that is affecting tens of thousands of children. What specifically do the Democrats not want to look into? I quote, the adequacy of the Biden administration's enforcement of immigration laws, its open border policies, their effect on American communities, and how they incentivize illegal immigration. What else do the Democrats not want us to look at? Quote, whether federal agencies are administering and enforcing these laws with an eye toward integrity and security. They don't want us looking at, quote, trends in criminal alien gang violence. These are the precise provisions the Democrats specifically do not want us to look at. They are the provisions that would, their, their provisions would, would remove this from our oversight. Would plan. the gentleman yield? No, I won't. But we are not going to accept the Democrat status quo. We are going to aggressively expose the conditions that this unprecedented illegal mass migration has imposed both on Americans and on the migrants themselves. And we will produce legislation to restore the integrity of our borders, the rule of law, and to protect the health, safety, education, and livelihoods of Americans.